We're the lows. We're a little mad. We got the low. We're, We're the, the low mad. mad. It's already April, which is the start of RV season, at least for the low mats, because we don't like cold. Before we head out, we would like to give you a quick tour of our RV. Come on, let me show you inside. Here's something I want to share before we go in. As you can see, the steps right now are down. Once I close the door, the steps will retract automatically. Now I open the door, it will come back out again. This is a safety feature, so when you open the door, you won't fall out. The only exception is when the RV is moving, no matter the door is open or closed, the steps will never come out. That's why it's important you double lock the door and close the screen so you won't accidentally open the door when the RV is moving. Let's say you're stopped now or camping at an RV site or boondocking. You don't want your staff going in and out all the time while you open and close the door because you want to save the battery and uh, obviously you don't want any wear and tear of the steps. So here's a cool feature where there's a button that says entrance step. I turned it on, which I did. No matter you open or close the door, the steps will remain out. It happened to us before that uh, we parked next to a very high curb and the steps come out and it will hit the high curb. And there's no button to stop the uh, steps halfway. So we actually figure out a little trick to trick the RV. We use the magnet and put it where the sensor is. Now you can see the steps think the door is still closed, but I have the door open. So that case, the steps won't come out when you parked next to a very high curb and what you have to do is basically kind of jump down or like that. <laughs> we are finally in the RV and now we can turn on the light. We are plugged into the power from our house. Uh, let's start from the front. As you can see, uh, we put the screens down. For the side screens, you can easily just pull it down and then it will just roll up automatically. We put them down earlier is because we want uh, to keep the heat out. When you're um, boondocking or parking in the RV site, so you want privacy, you can just pull them down. The front screen, you will have to turn this button up. You can see we have all the buttons. Um, everything is efficient. Uh, we picked the class A over the class C RV is because you can see you have a panoramic view. So Jason enjoys that very much. And he is the driver at all time. <laughs> Let's talk about some buttons. This is actually very important is the electronic leveling jacks. So what happened is that when you're parked in the RV park or let's say you're in the wild, the ground is uneven. When you walk around, you want to go shower or you want to uh, do dishes. So you will actually feel some movement in the RV because the RV is on the suspension. So what it does is to lower down the jacks and it helps you to level uh, balance the vehicle. Next, uh, these are just regular buttons like normal cars. And uh, here we have the rear view camera is to help you to back up and if I turn on the signal let's say to the left it will show the camera on the left side or to the right it will show to the right side and these are the radio buttons and then the most important buttons is the generator when the vehicle is not plugged in let's say your home or RV park then you want to turn on the generator so you can use all the powers in the vehicle uh, for all the electrical outlets also including the AC so that's very important but it does share the gas tank as the RV so it will drain your gas what the smart thing is the generator will shut down itself uh, when it, the gas is down to a quarter 
so you don't run out of gas when you're driving. Let's talk about the most essential electronic stuff that everyone should consider to buy for their RV trips. We got this tire pressure monitoring system, aka TPMS. It's this little machine here. It does exactly what it says. It's to measure the tires pressures at all times. So you don't physically have to go outside to measure the tire pressure. It is very important to check your tire pressure every time before you go on a long trip. For our RV, it is recommended to stay around 100. As you see, it's right on. So you don't want it to be too low, you don't want it to be too high, and it could be potentially explode and cause accidents. So it's very important to check your tire every time before you go on a long trip. This is just for Jason to put on his phone to check his GPS. Next, we have the Blue Ox braking system, which actually connect the brake system uh, to our tow vehicle, to our Jeep. So when we brake here, it will simultaneously brake the tow vehicle in the back. Dash cam, which we didn't get to install last year. Uh, this year, we'll try to install it. Um, basically, it will give you the view of the front when you drive and also it's good for safety. Let's go over to the passenger seat. I have some cool features to show you guys. Here we have a working desk if you want to work. like It's good to put with your laptop or anything. And there's a cup holder. And here, the seat it can turn. So first you move it forward and then there's another... I think I got it. <laughs> so you can turn this way and I can put this back. And so I can enjoy a conversation with the driver, which is my husband, or you have a little meal. This table is very interesting. You can just slightly turn it, excuse me, and then you can get up. Sadly, we wanted a chair here for Jackson. Unfortunately, uh, it just doesn't work out. We asked everybody, and it doesn't. They don't. They don't want to take the liability to do it. So, so this is the front, and now let's go to the back and go to the command center first. Okay. We have three water tanks, and these are the indicators. The gray water tank shows it's empty right now. Gray water basically is the water from the sink or from the shower. Right now it shows empty because we pumped it out. Next we have the black water tank which is the water come from the toilet. We also pumped it out so it's empty. We have the fresh water tank. It's two-thirds full. Uh, usually you use it for a shower or washing dishes. We usually don't uh, use it for drinking. We bring our own drinking water just in case if it has some smells or maybe it's dirty. So Next is the battery. It shows it's fully charged now. And the last is the LPG stands for the propane tank. It's two thirds. So we're good. Here if you want to have warm water, you can turn this on to heat up the water. And here is the water pump. You turn it on when you're not hooked up to the city water or the uh, RV park. What it does is to circulate the water from the fresh water tank so it will give pressure when you do dishes or when you shower. Very important, you do not want to turn it on when you're hooked up to the park, uh, RV park water or the city water because if you turn it on, it will use your own fresh water instead of using the city water. Next is the Arctic uh, pack. You only turn it on when you're in the very freezing condition uh, so that you turn it on, it will warm up the pipes and keep your water not freeze. This is the cool part. I'll show you now. Okay, as you can see, now it's so much roomier. And we have back as well. Who's there? Say hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm are you chilling? Okay, you stay here. Go out now. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh.
This is our bedroom. We have a king size bed. It's an RV king, so it's a little bit shorter, but it's very wide that three of us can sleep together. <laughs> we have some windows and some storage above it. Here we have four closets. And right now the slider is out, so we have like a two and a half feet wide hallway. So pro tip, make sure you take things out um, before you, you're on the road if you need something in there so you don't get stuck, right? We have a desk here and a small TV. And this is a controller for the AC in the bedroom. And it keeps the room very co cool, actually, so it's a big help during the summer months. Let's continue the tour. We have a pretty good size of shower here with a skylight on the top, which is very bright. And then we have the toilet. I got to talk about this door. It has double functions. It can be the door for the toilet and gives more privacy to your bedroom. You have the sink, have the toilet. If you want to flush it, that's how you flush it. A pro tip, this is important. You need to get the special RV toilet paper so it can dissolve easily, not the regular kind. More storage and a van here. You can roll it out and so it will lift up and air out. Okay, we have another divider right here if you want to separate the bathroom and the bedroom area from the living room. To give more privacy. We have a very good size of fridge and freezer right here. You can see lock, so it uh, keeps the food away from falling when you're driving. Look at that! It's a great size. And the fridge. Voila! Now this is actually a smart uh, refrigerator. When you're on the road driving, you want to keep the food cold, then it will be running from the propane tank. But when you're in a part, like an RV part, you're hooked up to the electricity, then it will run off from there. Uh, we have a very good size of stove right here. It's three stove right here. And we have a very convenient microwave. Give us convenience and some lights and fan and a good size of oven this is something Jason always wants it's a must for him it's an ice maker but we didn't use it so much so probably we're not gonna bring it next time we have more storage here is the sink but when you don't use it, you can put it here and give you more counter space. But I usually just leave it out because just to let it air out and I don't want, want it to be mold or anything. And we have a TV, which is very important. A lot of times you don't have Wi-Fi, so this is where you bring uh, your Blu-ray uh, player or DVD. These are Jason's movies, as you can tell. Top Guns, Gladiator. And I haven't watched this one yet. And Hero. So keep your entertaining. And this is the dining area. The diner is really cool. You can push it down and it becomes another double bed. Uh, this is where I usually hang out with Jackson when we're on the road. We got this mat. So it keeps things from sliding around. You can get it from Walmart or Target. And then we have more storages right here. Uh, this is very comfy. Our sofa has a recliner. What it also is, is a queen size bed. You can pull it out and get some more bed. And we have one more bed right here. You can. Pull it down, it's a single bed. And look at all these space, it's so roomy, right? Jackson, come! <laughs> now that we have toured inside, let's take a look at the... Outside! Outside! First, I want to show, show you the cool part, which is the awning. Jackson, press this button. Go out. Right here. Not too much, just a little bit. Whoa. 
Okay. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. At night you can uh, roll it out and give you some, or daytime give you some shade. Yeah, and relax. Okay, let's go. We have TV <laughs> where we can sit outside and watch some TV. Yeah. This is the speakers uh, from the radio uh, inside. <laughs> we have this way the storage where we usually put our tools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here is where we access the battery. Okay, we did that one. And this is where we access the water pump and the water heater. You know what it is, Jackson? This is the vent from the stool. Oh. When you cope. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, open this one. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is where we usually put our outside cooking gear. Okay, and you said where we store our toys. We have uh, the snorkeling or beach gear. Where's my helmet? Your helmet. Finally, we found it, right? Ow. Ooh, and hiking gear and everything. Ow. Yeah, the same tool. Yeah. What is this one, Jackson? It's to haul the jeep. It's to haul the jeep. It's our blue ox. Yes. Good job. Ooh, this is a big door. You stay in the front. Unlock it. And hey. this is for a big storage where you can put tables and chairs. Uh, this is very important where we connect to the power. We have 50 amp, 30 amp, and a regular uh, outlet adapters. And this is where we access to the three water tanks, uh, as well as to drain the black and gray water. Uh, this is where you hook up to the city water as well as to get the fresh water. And then here is the gas tank. Storage. We can put Jackson in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we usually put our dry food um, and goods. This is where I put What's that, Jackson? The generator. The generator. Exactly. Ooh. Do you know what that is? This is the batteries. <laughs> where you access the other battery. And what's that? I don't know. You don't know? This is the propane tank. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on, Jackson. This is the end of our tour. Hope you like it. It is a Georgetown 30X3. It's about 32 feet long, which is perfect for us. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Say thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.